Hi guys, this is Shivang here. After a long time, I'm back on YouTube. So, without wasting any time, let's start. Today, I'm gonna throw some light on gel filtration chromatography. What is gel filtration chromatography? The chromatographic method in which molecules are separated based on their size is called gel filtration chromatography. Now, you all may have heard about gel permeation chromatography size exclusion chromatography, molecular exclusion chromatography or molecular sieve chromatography. Let me make you clear that all these chromatographies are the same. Now we all know that in every chromatography there are two phases, a mobile phase and a stationary phase. So in this chromatography our mobile phase is our solution of different sized molecules that we want to separate. And the stationary phase is the gel which consists of beads of different pore size. Most widely used gels for this chromatography are dextran gels or polyacrylamide gels. This is Cephadex G50 which is a dextran gel and this is Agarose which is polyacrylamide gel. So let's understand how it works. Okay, it seems like I forgot to add some animation on this uh, little arrow. Please ignore this mistake, guys. I apologize for this. This is our chromatographic column. This is our solution of different size molecules that we want to separate. These are the beads inside the gel of different pore size. So when this solution of different size molecules is allowed to diffuse through this gel, the molecules which are larger than the pore size of the beads will not be able to penetrate through the beads and will take the alternative path that is through the gaps between the beads and will, and will elute out first. And the molecules which are smaller than the pore size of the beads will penetrate through the beads and will take more time for elution. This is the more clear diagram of gel filtration chromatography. So let's understand this again. This is our initial mixture of large and small molecules. This is our beads or gel filtration resins of different pore size. So when this solution is allowed to diffuse through these beads, the small molecules are included and elute last. Means small molecules which are smaller in size than the pore size of the beads will penetrate through the pores and will take more time for elution and the large molecules are excluded and elute first because they cannot penetrate through the beads and will take an alternative path through the gaps between the beads and will elute out first. So that's all about gel filtration chromatography guys. If you gain some knowledge from this video or if you understand the whole method then please hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more interesting videos soon. Thank you guys. See you soon.